This is our last lesson in this chapter. We're going to be having mixed numbers thrown in today. The only difference between regular dividing fractions and dividing with mixed numbers is when we see a mixed number, we have to first turn it into a what? Improper, improper fraction. Raise your hand if you remember how to change a mixed number into an improper fraction. We've done it a lot this Ooh. quarter, right? Okay, so we first go by taking this bottom number, which is the denominator, and multiply it by the 1. So 4 times 1 plus 3. So what is 4 times 1 plus 3, Carter? 7. 7. So we have 7 over 4. Now we're just going to do it like we've been doing. The division sign comes down, changes to a multiplication sign, and the second number does what? Flip. Flip. So it's 5 over 2. And now we can't cross cancel. Bummer, right? So we're just going to multiply like normal. 7 times 5 is? 35. 4 times 2 is? 8. Okay, and that is what type of fraction? Improper. Raise your hand if you know why it's an improper fraction. Ava? Because uh, 7 times 5, well, 35 can I go 15? 35 is larger, right? Yeah. The top number is larger, that means it's improper. So some of you can come over here and easily write what the mixed number is, right? Yeah. If you can't, you're going to come over here and we're going to divide. 35 divided by 8. Who knows how many times 8 can go into 35? Go on a friend. Four times. Four times, because eight times four is what, guys? Thirty-two. So thirty-five minus two, thirty-two is. Three. Who thinks they know what the answer is to those numbers? Lucas. Eight times three is four. No. Eight. Allie. Four, four and three eight. This number right here is the whole number. Leftover is the numerator. This number out here is the denominator. Okay, our next problem, we have 2 and 3 eighths. Who thinks they know what we're going to change that into? Michaela? Nineteen over what? Eight. Nineteen over eight. Who can set up the rest of my problem? Shelby? Yep. Good. Who sees what we can do on this problem? Kennedy? We can cross cancel. Good. So what does the four change into, guys? Oh, one. What does the eight turn into? Two. 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 So what's my new fraction over here so far? Owen? Uh, 19 over 2. 19 over 2. And Owen, what type of fraction is that? Um, that is a improper fraction because it's 9 and 1 half. Okay. Okay, 9 and 1 half. It should be 9 and 1 half. And I'll come over here and show you why. So we have 19 divided by 2. 2 goes into 19. 9 times because that's 18, right? And 19 minus 18 is 1. So we have 9 and 1 half. Questions so far? It's basically everything we've learned already and we're putting it together, right? If you learn bits and pieces, you know it's together. Okay, 5 and 5, 8. Carter, what do you think? Over what? Okay. You think they know what's going to happen next in the front end? Okay. And then the division sign does what? Okay. Ashlyn, what can we do? Uh, we can cross cancel 3, 25, 4, and 8. Okay. That was fantastic. And those numbers look so much better now, don't they? Yes, Lucas. Okay. Uh, 
45 divided by 3 is 15. Is it okay if you're doing this by yourself and you don't see that? How many people did not know that 3 is equal to 45? Is it okay that you didn't see that one? Yeah. We'll just be, you'll be able to figure it out out here. But you probably saw the 4 and the 8, didn't you? Yep. I'm hoping so. It's because I got 77 over 1. So we have 15 over 2. And most, probably at least half of you probably know the mixed number already, right? Okay. What will the mixed number be? Tell me. Seven and a half. You guys, two times seven is fourteen, and then to get the fourteen to fifteen, there's a one. But I'll also show it this way for those of you that need it this way. I got the same answer except I forgot to make it fourteen. Yeah. Seven and a half. Okay, this side was pretty easy because the mixed number was first, right? When the mixed number gets to be the second fraction. You have to remember to flip it. This is a this has been a downfall of some students in the past because they are, they're like, yeah, this is what seven over five, and guess what they forget to do? Flip it because just because you wrote it as that's not seven, sorry, no, I'm twelve. I added something weird. No, I'm twelve. So so you still have to flip it after you get your improper fraction, okay? <laughs> So make sure to flip. And then this one would be what, 21 over 5? Yep. That one still comes straight down. So we have 21 over 5 times, and what are we going to do to this guy? Flip him. So 5 over 12. So I'm going to make a little note here that says flip improper fraction. How many people see how easy it could be after you wrote down your improper fraction to forget to flip it? It happens. I grade a lot of papers where people forget to do that. What can I do with my problem now? Carter. You can um, cross cancel And then what do we put by the fives, Carter? That's my favorite thing. One does it say anything cross, not make them one. Let's see something else I can do on this problem. Logan H. Canaan? Good, because 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. Or you could have just gotten 21 over 12, right? But I'm going to get 7 over 4. And some of you can look at that and say what? 1 and 3, 6. 1 and 3, 4. Yeah. If you don't see that, you can't leave it as 7, 4. Some of you have still been doing that on your homework. So 7 divided by 4. 4 goes into 7 once. 7 minus 4 is 3. So we get 1 and 3 fourths, which is that answer right there. Emily. Then you have to simplify by simplifying by 3. Okay. Because if you did, so you took 21 over 12, right? Yeah. yeah. And so you did 21 divided by 12, which goes in once, and you get 9, right? Yeah. So 1 and 9, 12, 3 can go into both of those, and then you'll get 6 left. I think my 4 looks like a 6, or like a 3, 6. It happens. Okay, what are my improper fractions on this one? Allie? Because this one would be, this would be 3 over 2, right guys? And then we'll flip it. So if you want to write your improper fraction smaller up here, you can and then flip it. Instead of making how huge my first one was. Just make sure you flip it. Can we cross cancel it all on this one? No. no. So what do we get as our improper fraction start with? Lucas? 16 over 2. 16 over 9. Who can say no what the mixed number is going to be on this problem? Bella? 9 and 2 nights. 2 nights? Does anyone else want to speak? The only thing that she said was wrong was the numerator, right? 
What is the numerator going to be? Brennan? Seven. Let me show you. We're going to do 16 divided by 9. 9 goes into 16 once. That's how we got the whole number. 16 minus 9 is 7. So that's where we got that 7. See that, Bella? And the last one. I threw in a whole number. Who remembers what we need to do with a whole number? Winter, do you remember when we have a whole number? What do we do to it? How do I make a whole number into a fraction? Put a one under it. I knew you knew that. Division sign changes to a? Okay, before we bring this one down, we have to change it to a what? 16 over 7. 14, 50, 16 over 7, okay. And then what do we do with that 16 over 7? Flip it. Flip it. I knew the numbers. I didn't know what over meant. Oh. Okay. Can I cross cancel at all? Yes. What's my yeah. cross cancer? Cancel. 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 Allie. Um, you cross cancel. Okay, what do I change those into, Allie? Two and. So the 16 changes into 2, and the 8 changes into a? 1, because 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 16 twice. What do we have as our improper fraction here? Ooh. Emily? 7 over 2. Because 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. You guys tell me your mixed number. 3 and 1 half. Three and one half. Yeah. Or we come over to the side, right? 7 divided by 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. So 3 and 1 half. What kind of questions do we have? No, don't so, we basically took the things that we've learned the whole entire chapter and put it together in one big one, right? Okay. Yeah.